All right, the Mayorkas articles of impeachment finally reached the Senate floor. Question now is there going to be a full trial? Joining us, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator Paul, welcome back, sir. Um, tell us a little bit. Will Chuck Schumer allow this trial to take place, or are you and others going to shut down the Senate? You know, I think what's going to happen is something unprecedented. We've never had the impeachment of a president or the impeachment of a cabinet member that is simply sent over and summarily dismissed with no discussion, no debate. What we're hearing is that Chuck Schumer is going to move to table, which means he would nullify the whole results without any trial. No trial, no discussion, no discussion or presentation of the charges. This has never happened in the history of the Senate. It's unprecedented, and I think it's a dereliction of duty. I don't think this is what the Constitution intended. When something serious happens, like an impeachment, there should be a trial. I sure agree, and I think this is the most important issue facing the country right now. Uh, Senator Paul, is there something you can do about it? I mean, can you tie his hands? Can you tie the Senate's hands until Mr. Schumer gets back to the right constitutional path? Yes. If the Senate, if the Senate Republicans had the guts, the stamina, the integrity, the wherewithal to stay together, 41 of us can stop anything in the Senate. In fact, 41 of us could have made them compromise on spending. But every time spending comes up, we capitulate. We're like, oh, no, they say it's going to be us shutting down the government. So we have to give the Democrats everything we want. No, we should say they're not doing their constitutional duty. So guess what? Nothing happens in the Senate. But see, already the next thing they have up after this is spying on Americans through FISA the way they spied on Trump. That comes up at the end of this week and they're all freaking out. So instead of standing together and telling Schumer you have to do the impeachment, they're all going to freak out and say, how quickly can we dispense of this? So some Republicans are secretly saying, let's get this done so we can do a whitewash on FISA and let them continue to have all the power in the world to spy on Americans. But I can tell you, I, for one, am not going to let them do this easily. And I am going to do everything I can to make sure there's a debate on FISA, because I don't think our intelligence agencies should be allowed to spy on Americans without a warrant. Well, go, you know, go Rand, go. I mean, that's absolutely. But I'm hearing about spending bills, foreign assistance spending bills. And, Senator Paul, I, I don't hear the word pay for. I, I keep, I'm trying to listen. I know I'm old, but my ears generally work. I just don't hear the word pay for. Well, when Speaker Mike Johnson came in, his first act, I was excited. I said, well, this is a real deal. Maybe he's going to be a true conservative. He passed increased money, foreign aid for Israel, but he paid for it by clawing back Iris money. He actually had to pay for it. First time I've ever seen foreign aid paid for. And now he's negotiating with himself. He's going to put forward another Israel bill that's going to be unpaid for, which I'm frankly not going to support. I can't support aid even for our friends if it doesn't come from somewhere else in the budget because we're bankrupting our country. But Mike Johnson now is going to negotiate with himself. Chuck Schumer says he won't accept it if it's if it's paid for. So Mike Johnson's just going to wilt and say, oh, here's the Israel pay for. Here's Israel aid unpaid for, and here's the Ukraine aid unpaid for, and here's Taiwan aid unpaid for, and here's a whole bunch of other money that just puts us further into debt. But I think that the biggest risk our country has is not invasion from without, but it's the rot from within from debt, and we have to do something. Our national security is threatened by this, so we need Mike Johnson to step up, and he needs to look and stare down Chuck Schumer and say, we've already passed Israel aid. You think Israel needs more aid? You've got it. It's on your desk. Pass it. But we're going to pay for it by reducing IRS spending. Well, perhaps Mr. Johnson will come around to your liking. Last one, Senator Paul. This is the day after tax day. I know it's a great celebration in your household. Um, once upon a time, you were for a flat tax. I've got about 45 seconds to a minute. How about the flat tax, Senator Paul? Absolutely. I love Steve Forbes' flat tax. I had a flat tax when I ran for president. And the thing is, is what we need to do is have a flat tax, but everybody needs to pay it like either weekly or monthly so they see it coming out of their check. No more withholding. We're going to see how bad and how awful it is and how upset Americans are if they have to pay their taxes every day, every month, and see their taxes up front instead of having them taken by their employer. Everybody has to see their taxes, and then there's going to be a tax revolt. You know, that's what Dick Army wanted years ago. Same idea. Everybody's got to see it. And that's where the pinch is. That's where the pain is. Um, I just feel, you know, to me right now, I know there's a lot to talk about. 
uh, the border. The border is everything. And I just hope you all stay on the border. I hope you, I hope you fight for this Mayorkas uh, impeachment. I think it's really important. Absolutely. And without question, we've got to take care of our border before we start trying to figure out the problems of other countries' borders. Yes, sir. Senator Rand Paul, thank you, sir. We really appreciate it, as always.